Yeah, a little bit of a mess. All this junk, garbage, and hydraulic oil spilled underneath the mats and everything else. A little bit of a mess. Tracing down wires. I've got multiple problems going on, but the main one here I want to show you guys is a, it's a B1313 for side obstacle. Impact sensor driver side. B131393. It's right there. And what I do is I pull as much of this harness inside the door loose as I can without pulling it all out, just to kind of make it to where it, it can be moved around freely. And then I come up here and I unhook this rubber grommet to give myself a little bit more room. And then I'll release these tabs here with a pick in the bottom, pull this out, and then once I get this pulled out, then I'll release the connectors from the back side of it so I can lay it out. Then I'll pull this condom back like this and then look inside. Broken wire. Broken wire. Broken wire. This one's pretty much, both these last two I touch are almost all the way through. Broken. And then this here. There's the other half of that broken wire. It's real bad in these trains. It's in the F-150s. Unlike the rear doors in the F-150s, they break right here. It has a B131393 for a, a set of RCM code. So we're going to address that. Um, upper radiator hose burst on this transit. It's a 2017 3.5 EcoBoost. Upper radiator hose burst on it. And, uh, yeah, so this is the kind of stuff I got to... I gotta get into. I gotta move out of my way, and there's multiple things I'm working on here. There was a bad connection for I forget what the other code was. Uh, bad connection down here at this sensor. I forget the code that was set for it. I had to clean it out, clip it back. That took care of the code. Um. Uh, <laughs> The bad thing about having a work truck like this and wrappers and candy and hydraulic oil spilled all underneath this channel and you feed your hands down in there is you don't know what you're going to put your hands in. You know, there could be people that work and drop razor blades and everything else and tools down in there. You go to lift up this rubber mat to try to feel the harness back there and then you end up slicing your hand open. So, I mean, I had to charge accordingly for this job because I had a bad connection at the RCM. I fixed that. I fixed this. There was oil spilled down on the RCM connector over here. RCM connector's right up underneath this here. You can see all the oil and shit down in there. It's all greasy and stuff. And then I had a separate airbag code for the side impact sensor, B 131393. And then you got to deal with all the driver's receipts and garbage and McDonald's fries and everything else. And it's just like, ah. I had to charge accordingly. I charged them six hours to get through this harness, this connector, um, diag this door. Uh, what was the other thing? There was like one or two more things. Oh yeah, I got to replace the the door check. It's it's cracked, so the door check's got to be replaced. Upper radiator hose. And then I still got to go put all this stuff back and make sure it's kind of back where the driver had it, where he's not lost. You know, I'll put most of this paperwork in, but, you know, it's crazy. There's a new hose I had to put in. Uh, upper hose is collapsed. On a lot of the Fords, that's kind of normal because on the uh, the old police cars, the old 3.5 police cars, it would do that. But a lot of times it comes back to this here. This cap is no good. Watch what happens. I'm going to take this radiator cap off. Sometimes this gets all goopy. It doesn't want to work right. 
But a lot of, like even the old cop cars, they said don't even diagnose that. That's a normal concern. So we'll see. Seems like it's doing its job, but we'll see. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Be blessed. Have a great day.